Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing your weekly tarot reading. Cross watchers are welcome. Anybody who feels guided to watch this reading is welcome. So this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link to my book online page and you can schedule yourself an appointment there. All right, Capricorn, in the past, we have the 10 of pentacles in reverse, a lack of long-term stability. I feel disappointment coming in. There, you believed that you were in something that was stable, that was lasting. And it feels like there's a lot of instability, like a chronic low grade instability. Oh, oh, wow. Ten of Cups in reverse, too. There's, there wasn't love in this. I, I'm getting a connection. Wow. Um, it looks like someone's manifesting from someone's a trickster and or feels like and someone's manifesting from really dark places because they're feeling insecure and unstable, a lack of soul fulfillment. They don't care. That, wow, this person just doesn't care anymore. It looks like you got, uh, you had this energy of truthfulness about you. Feels like you switched from, you switched from wherever your energy was to being very truthful, very the facts, logic. I'm going to look at this logically. And it feels like the more that you were willing to see this person you were in connection with honestly and truthfully, the more you saw that they're, they're insecure. Maybe they made you feel like you were a burden, that you were the one causing the instability, insecurity, the lack of love. Feels like this person projects all their their stuff onto you. They're so so insecure. Unstable. They don't know how to stabilize themselves. They project themselves as uh, someone who's grounded and financially adept but they're inept this isn't abundance and it looks like i feel like the person you were connected with was really tricky not above board because the lack of stability and the lack of love they feel entitled there's an entitlement. It's just, ugh. And quite possibly third party situation. Feels like this person takes really horrible advice from the people around them. Like they complain about the connection to people who have, why are you listening to these people's advice? Like whoever this is in the past, it's just, they're listening to horrible advice. It's just gossip. Maybe drinking, maybe going out and partying and quite possibly a literal like third party doesn't mean everyone, but th there is a lack of value to this connection. I feel like you're showing up as, you know, starting to really see the truth about what's going on. Feels like you might have been in a connection where to be in the connection, you had to dissociate from reality. 
and maybe you're starting to come back into reality. I want to see things clearly. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, Capricorn. In present energy, we have the two of wands in reverse. A lack of planning, a, a lack of strategizing. I don't even know where to begin. Something, someone is just the slowest. Who is it? It's someone is so slow. They're not moving forward very quickly. There's a, a lack of planning, a lack of, a lack of desire. Plant, even make plans happen it looks like that cycles ending it's something it's like um, that's what this is unrequited love someone who's just never going to make plans they're never going it feels like they kind of take that option out we're not going to create more there's there's um, no planning that so without planning like are, you know are we on the same page do we have the same values are we heading in the same direction it looks like there's the what's ending is connecting with people who aren't willing to make plan they're just being which is a-OK, -okay, but it doesn't feel like that's what you want. Just be. I'm, I'm a total tumbleweed. I'm taking no responsibility for my future. I just want to see what happens. There's um, This person ha lacks passion, lacks um, direction. They, it feels like they lack creativity. Feels like you are ending a cycle with someone who, or an aspect of yourself, probably both. I'm not going to create any longer with someone or what I'm not interested in, what I really don't want to create. Uh, it looks like you're stepping into wanting something to co-create with joy so you're closing cycles of creating with others people who don't won't talk to you won't strategize with you don't want to co-create with you and instead you're stepping into this new energy of co-creating with with love and joy There's also like passion. I don't want to leave passion out of it. Something has been hidden that's coming to light around someone who is emotionally um, overwhelmed. They're, they're not good with emotions. Feels like Hmm. Someone's overwhelmed with emotions. They're coming forward and they've got something they want to say. These feel like loving messages around a, a breakup. That they're no longer pursuing, they're no longer interested in um, a connection. Let's do that again. Let's kind of reread. So it looks like you're ending a cycle of just people in the wrong pacing, too. People who don't want to co create, don't want to strategize, they don't know what they want, they don't know how to co create. They're they just, they don't want what you want, which is all acceptable. 
but you're ending that cycle. You're wanting to co-create with soulmates, with people who you feel a loving connection with, that you have the same passions. You want to build something stable and lasting with joyful energy. Something has been hidden that's come to light and it's putting someone in their emotions. They're feeling very overwhelmed. They're coming to you. They, they've got messages about this overwhelm, about something that maybe has been hidden, an emotion deep inside them. Feels like they want to tell you about a breakup or that they're not getting along with their partner. There's a lack of passion. There's nothing new here. That desire. So there's something about desire that's very important to what you're wanting. And there's a, anything, it feels like where there's a lack of passion, you, you don't want to create or co-create with that. You want someone, you want people. This feels very romantic. This feels like love. And if you are in a connection already, you're wanting to end that aspect of your love connection where we don't strategize together and where we just kind of exist and you want to rekindle something and create something more fun and what's hidden are a lot of emotions that you have loving feelings towards your partner and you want to co-create that because otherwise you it doesn't work there's a lack of passion well all right, Capricorn, messages from your higher self is the seven of pentacles. Your higher self is, is pointing out how, how powerful you are, how powerful your focus is, and wherever you direct your attention, your thoughts, your words, your actions, to bring what you want into this reality. You're wanting to grow something. You're wanting to have something in the 3D. You want to know that when you invest your time and your energy into something that, that they reciprocate. You want someone you can work with. Again, it, it's very important, this co-creating aspect. I want someone who ha shares the same vision that we want to invest in the same things. We have the same values. We have the same passions. We're both passionate about the same thing. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to be in any kind of drama or power plays. I'm, I'm tired of uh, instability and insecurity, greed. A lack of nurturing. I, I can't handle a lack of nurturing. I want to take steps. I want to transform something. I want I've transformed myself and and now I'm I'm moving out with fire and passion and new ideas, new ways of seeing things that I'm very excited about. These feel like very first steps, very, um, but you're ready to start taking action. Ready to move out. And that is also your challenge this week. Capricorn, your, your challenge this week is the Page of Wands. To take action on bold action, I heard bold action. It'll feel awkward, it, it might feel immature but it's take taking action towards what you want how else are you going to get what you want if you don't take action towards it wow it looks like leveling up is also a challenge like okay 
it's going to feel awkward and weird at first, but there's a lot I need to take action towards. There's a lot I want to take action towards. Wow. I'm getting, you're never going to get the partnership you want if you don't go for it. If you don't take that action, it's not going to fall in your lap. You've got to communicate your desires. You have to be the partner, be the actually, I'm getting like embody what it is that you want in your partnership. There's something about taking partnerships to calmer spaces without um, being sneaky. In the past, ha are there connections that you like being sneaky that maybe start in untoward ways, not fully above, grant, above board? Does that make sense? There's something here about ha bringing connections to calmer waters. Maybe also I'm getting like hiding your moves. There's something here about over communicating to others, uh, communicating to others. Um, that might just be for a few of you. Your challenge is to tell tell the person of your desire. Like, feels like risking rejection. What do I have to lose? I could just be turned down and then I realize that that's mm -hmm. not the person for me and I can move on. I don't have to take rejection personally. It feels like rejection might be keeping you quiet. All right, Capricorn. What's hidden is the 10 of wands in reverse. Feels like you're exhausted there's a depletion energy here. And there's an end of a very exhausting cycle here. I'm getting like a lack of passion where there's no opportunity because you're not really excited about any of the opportunities that are presenting themselves. There's someone who wants to work with you, wants to build with you. feels like this person's waiting for you. I don't even, I'm not even sure as I'm tuning into this if you know this person, but it feels like there's someone waiting for you. There's this new epiphany, this new energy of clarity. I'm seeing things differently. feels like you get some like light bulb moments this week or about your freedom about moving towards your victory there's someone who feels like who you're in connection with or have been in connection with someone who's not nurturing who's not loving not caring they don't want to create there there's a lack of abundance a lack of I'm hearing discipline that's interesting feels like you you're tired of listening to this person you're you want to heal something around there's with this person this um not nurturing unloving person that's kind of cold there's some healing that you you create it feels internal some perspective maybe a mindset shift because you're wanting to 
ten of pentacles. You're wanting long term. That's so that's their diagonal in the reading. That's where we started. Ten of pentacles in reverse, a lack of stability, a lack of lasting stability with someone. And what's hidden is that you have that opportunity with this new mindset. There's someone who wants to work with you, wants to collaborate with you. But it feels like you might be too exhausted to make an offer. And there's someone in your energy. It feels like you're, you've got this new idea. There's someone uh, potential who wants to work with you. Or collaborate with you, or um, build it together. But there's something you're still having some internal struggle in regards to um, someone who's feels like you're still in another connection with someone who's not nurturing, not loving. If you aren't in that connection, that energy is still in your space. So it's still reading like you're still in that connection. All right. Your opportunity this week, Capricorn, is the High Priestess. Seeing things clearly. Intuition, very connected. Your intuition is really going to serve you well this week. Boy, you are really intuitive. Uh, this might just be for someone. Uh, I'm getting that someone you felt in your spidey senses, in your intuition, that someone was talking smack about you someone you care about that it wasn't horrible but it felt like if you were in the room and they, they would not have talked to you talked about you in that way and I just want to validate that you're correct that that did happen that was so random okay but I just want to validate there's something about validating your experience of your intuition feels like a lot of people have gaslit you when you intuit something that truthfully honestly yeah your intuition um it's really going to serve you well this week your intuition is bringing balance You're transmuting something, bringing something back into balance. This feels like a part of your path. Looks like you're transmuting um, codependency, addiction, trauma bonds, attachment issues. where you are attached to people who are controlling and manipulative. So a, an addiction, uh, a connection, relationships, maybe you have um, an addictive relationship where um, you're some, one person is constantly the runner and one person's chasing. Just trying to get that dopamine hit. Just a little attention. It feels like you're you're really starting to let go this week. Using your intuitive powers. It feels like you're co-creating with the divine. Quite possibly Archangel Raphael. Healing that heart space of these type of energies. You're very clear. I don't want these energies. I don't want toxic connections. I don't want to be manipulated. I don't want um, a make-believe 
relationship that looks good on the outside but is miserable on the inside. I don't want a relationship based in fear and pain. I don't want to be controlled and I don't want to control someone. It's a lot of clarity coming through. And um, also it looks like you're clearing out of your heart space that you are your connections, that your connections are a reflection of who you are. Like clout. So that, that reminds me of my grandmother when I went to college. She said, you know, it's a sad truth, but it's very true that people judge you based on who you hang around with. And I remember thinking, wow, what a sad way to live. I'm sorry, Grandma, that you have that belief. I didn't say that, but I was like, ugh. I, I see what you're saying. That is a way of being, allowing others, even complete strangers, and their perception of who's right and who's wrong and who's good and who's bad, who's the right gender, the right race, the right tax bracket to allow just strangers to decide for me who I should allow next to me, who I should be friends with, is giving my power away. I don't care if others don't like my friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm making these choices. I don't allow others to make these choices. So it looks like that's coming up. All right. Uh, Capricorn, your possible outcome is the fool in reverse. Reckless, foolish, not making, having a new beginning. Someone's being reckless. They're saying a lot. Uh, ugh. <laughs> ugh. Uh, as I'm tuning into this energy, there's someone who's being very reckless. Um, this almost feels like, um, <clears throat> you know, someone who's been drinking too much and they just kind of um, spill the beans. Uh, not thoughtful, just using the courage of alcohol to just an immature way of dealing with something <clears throat> wow this person is vengeful reckless I'm getting not really in their mind right mind maybe there's pain <clears throat> this person is sowing the seeds of betrayal wounded and they want to cause more wounding they're trying to on a soul level i have a lot of compassion for this energy because they're really hurting and they they're trying to figure out how to make the hurt stop and so they're projecting and um throwing their pain out <clears throat> it creates a lot of karma It looks like you're not wanting to invest any more in this energy because um, they are reckless and mean-spirited and hurtful. I mean, <clears throat> this is a lot. Like, it feels like this, I was starting to, to I was psychically reading your possible outcome when I was still in your opportunity this week when I said that there's feels like there's someone talking about you behind your back and uh, that's that feels like this like you they wouldn't have said that they wouldn't be so bold and they wouldn't talk about you like you were an object it this is just it's unnecessary 
it's fueled by an inability to see this about themselves and so they're projecting it onto you it looks like you're no longer you're not working with this person you're not taking action towards this person you're no longer giving them any attention and wow wow and then boom ace of pentacles you get a new opportunity very tangible feels like around work people who want to work with you something new around a work opportunity so you've got new energies coming in this week capricorn you've got the ace of swords new perspective and you end the week with a new opportunity i'm going to take this but it also looks like someone is really in a lot of pain and projecting it towards you towards your name and you're <clears throat> It just feels like noping out. And then at the bottom of the deck as I put the is the nine of pentacles. There's some type of independence that you're really stepping into this week. Soul fulfillment. Personal soul fulfillment. So wow. Listen to my voice. Um <clears throat> that's your reading. Um you might be clearing a lot in your throat chakra. Things that are hard to say that you haven't said, maybe. <clears throat> wow. Sometimes it's hard to see the truth, and, and then the next step, it's really hard to own that truth and start speaking your truth. So, all right, Capricorn, I hope that was helpful. Take care. Bye.